With its doors closed to the public, most people would never know that there's a world-class museum of birds, fish, plants, and insects on Ohio State's West Campus. But students and researchers from around the world have come to depend on the rare collections of species at the Museum of Biological Diversity. One of the greatest things about being at a university museum instead of one of the top government museums like the Smithsonian would be that we have this lifeblood of students that enters every year. These are young people, they're very creative, they think differently from the way we think and that creativity and that energy provided by our students often pushes us forward. This isn't a museum like the Smithsonian. We don't have exhibits. Most of the time, we're in our labs working on particular research projects and accessing the specimens in the collection. We are part of a big international network, a lending library, if, if you like, of specimens. So researchers around the world ask to borrow specimens, and we send them. The collections are enormous. They've been built over the last 150 years and include material collected over the last 200 years. Everything that you've ever read about the identity of a species or where it lives or where it used to live or other species that you find with it, all of that is based on records that somebody kept someplace. We have a fantastic collection of fish from all over the world, in addition to having wonderful collections of birds. I brought out, here's our tray of uh, ivory bill woodpeckers. And I've got out a specimen of the pileated woodpecker. The oldest specimen in the collection we have is a ruddy turnstone that was collected in 1818 on the ship off of the coast of Ireland. Ohio State University Museum of Biological Diversity is composed of several collections. Right now we're in the mollusk collection, which is clams and mussels and snails and things like that. We also have important collections of insects in general, ticks and mites. We have a big collection of fishes. We have an historical collection of higher vertebrates that would be lizards and birds and mammals. We also have a large collection of animal sounds. We've got over 33,000 recordings, mostly birds. We also have a lot of insect recordings, amphibians and mammals. Our recordings are used by researchers, educators, people making museum exhibits, people uh, working in conservation or management of wild populations too. Our research is to study egg parasitoid wasps, which are tiny little parasitic wasps that kill the eggs of other insects and spiders. And so we're out there trying to collect new specimens, look at them, see if we can figure out who they are, and nine times out of 10, they haven't been recognized by anybody before. And so we get to christen them, give them names, and to uh, put them in the scientific literature. This is a collection about, uh, of mites and ticks. This is a group that is really interesting because it, it cuts its life cycle down to absolutely nothing and actually succeeds in producing fertilized females. Mites uh, and ticks, no, each of them have their, their main importance. Uh, for ticks, it's a very obvious one of the, being one of the biggest vectors of disease. And so just to know what you are dealing with, what species you are dealing with, becomes extremely important. My research is on sea anemones and corals, and there aren't big collections of sea anemones from Ohio. But what I have here, expertise in working with specimens and places to house all of the specimens we collect. Members of my lab spend about a third of the year in the field collecting animals, and so there's a place for those animals here at the museum where other researchers can then borrow them and learn from the things that, that we've studied and that we've spent time and effort to collect. There aren't many places that can afford to keep a large collection. Only the biggest institutions have the valuable collections that span hundreds of years and that we guarantee will still be here a hundred years from now. <laughs>